Can, can I ask you this question, Will? Because this is something I've thought a lot, long time about. Uh, I, I worry sometimes that we are, you, you know, in Vietnam, my, for instance, my dad flew 200 combat missions over Vietnam, and, and it was pretty clear about two years before the war that it was, we were not going to win that war. Mm-hmm. The war on drugs is the same way. And, and I worry that we are sending good police officers uh, into a war that, that we're never going to win. And so I wonder if part of the solution might be to rethink the way we look at the war on drugs, because it seems to me like a lot of the police interactions mm-hmm. with, with uh, not just minority communities, but all communities has to do with uh, the drug issue. And, and I also think that this drug issue has had effects on Mexico that we really wish didn't have. So do you have any thoughts on where that piece might sure. fit into the picture? Sure. Uh, look, uh, one of the big issues was about, um, you know, not being able to do no-knock warrants when it comes to drug possession cases, right? Yeah. Um, uh, because this is, this is Breonna Taylor in, uh, uh, in, in Kentucky. This was, this was, there was a no-knock warrant put in, and the, the boyfriend thought that they were being robbed and, and, and reacted. And, and then also, uh, the, you know, how do you handle the criminalization of some of these cases? This is something you know a little bit better about. So you're yeah. not having as many people in, in our systems. Um, but th- look, there's, a, there's an addiction problem, right? So yeah. you got to address that piece, right? Yeah. Then you also have to address, it's, it's my friends in Mexico always say, it's the, it's the drugs and the guns that are coming from the United States that are fueling the narco traficantes in, 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 in Mexico. Exactly. Um, yeah. and, and I think, I, I actually think we should be using more intelligence um, with our Mexican partners and with partners throughout um, Central America to address the supply side issue. You know, my yeah. experience is on is, and I know how to dismantle networks. And so I talk about supply side issues. The demand side has a, a big piece um, as, as well. And so how do you do that? How do you address those kinds of issues? That's a broader conversation. But, but for me, there, there are more things we can be smarter on how we, how we address, how we address the, 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 you know, dealing with the, the producers of this issue. Of the, so what, what I would, you know, one of the things that I would do on this issue is I would say, what's the goal? Where, where are we trying to get to? Are we trying to get to a point where nobody ever does illegal, the, the drugs that we decide to, uh, tag as illegal that everybody just stops at. I, I don't think that's realistic. Is the goal to get the problem under control? Well, what would that mean? Like, like where where are we where are we ultimately trying to get with this? Well, 